Good morning, everyone. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Jesus was moved with compassion for the role that sought him out and followed him from one shore to the other. He had fed the grow by multiplying the loaves and fishes. God the Father had also done this for his people in the days of Moses and Aaron in the desert on their way to the promised land. The days of Moses, the people are asking for more signs and wonders beyond those performed by the great prophet and by the great Moses. Will he be able to do them to identify him as an acceptable mission of God or a political mission the people dream of? On this on thing is clear. Jesus refused any assimilation to a political mission. Thus, while criticizing them, he invites the Jews to go beyond their material needs and to see higher further. If there is a quest for something more, it is indeed the hunger of God. This hunger of God is none other than Jesus, whom they seek from one shore to the other. He is the bread of life, the only one able to fill the essential need of man. Jesus is the bread of an eternal life. It will not be easy in the face of Jewish people rules in the kind of utilitarian fidelity, Israel fidelity, took, took the form of a trade or a transaction in which the people were promised a benefit for their fidelity. Jesus denounced this selfish, self-serving fidelity in this, this gospel following the multiplication of the loaves and fishes. Should we follow him for a material advantage, or should we follow him, believe him in view of a food that remains until eternal life? The question is there, and must question everyone. We must get out of opportunism and the fear of material and food shortage. We must follow him for the love of God because he is the only one who can answer our hunger and thirst for true life and peace. Jesus does not want to satisfy the body but to be the true bread of life, the one who feeds soul by giving them an eternal life that fill, fulfill the true desire of, all, of man. He is like the man fallen from heaven, the one whom God the Father sent to be the true food fallen from inner and our soul. He gives us the life of relationship with God that is vital. So Jesus invites those who seek him and listen to him to obtain this food for eternity. He shows us how we can come to the true knowledge of the food that he gives us in his person as bread of life. By eating it, we become what we receive, the body of Christ, the bread 
of an eternal life. Thus, we become a new man, the new people acquired by the blood and the body of Christ. This spiritual food ensures the life on the human soul. Several passages of the Holy Scriptures rightly remind us that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. It is the word of God that sustains those who believe in Him. We must therefore walk and seek the food that is not lost, the one that allows us to dwell in eternal life. In this Sunday, each of us must ask our, ourselves, where are we our hunger of, or, of God? Where do our desires lie and what is most important to us. We must avoid, avoid letting ourselves be guided by what St. Paul calls the void, the deceitful desires. We must let ourselves be guided by Christ to put on. The new man, Lord Jesus Christ, let us live by your word and your bread. Fill us with what you are for us, the bread of life. Make us hungry for you to fulfill our true desire to know God. May our eyes of man open to the mystery of the gift of your person which united us to the Father, make us become this new man. Remind us that all is grace with you and not bargaining. Through our body and blood, you open the way to true love. You are the food that heals us and set us free to unite us to God and feel our true hunger in eternal life. You are the one who provide this bread of life. You are the bread of an eternal life. May God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good Sunday.